let's find an expression for the energy density of the electric field. It's kind of a big deal. It's useful for a lot of things. So to do this, the best trick to, to find this expression is to start with uh, a parallel plate capacitor. Uh, and in particular, start with the parallel plate. And if you have a parallel plate uh, with charge Q on there and a area A, then the electric field points away from the plate. And if you're very close to the plate, it's a constant magnitude and it doesn't change with distance. And it has the expression, the magnitude Q total charge over two A epsilon naught, where epsilon naught's a constant. That's the electric field due to a plate. And then if you go inside of a parallel plate, the electric field of a parallel plate is actually the sum of the electric field due to the positive plus the electric field due to the negative. So the electric field inside of here, you get tw two of those. You really have E equals Q over A epsilon naught. Okay, so it's just, it's just there's a two factor there because there's only one plate. Now let's imagine that I look at this negative plate right here. This negative plate has a charge of negative Q on it, and there's an electric field E. So that means that there's a force pulling that plate to the left, F. And the magnitude of that's going to be Q times uh, E. And let's just deal with scalar values here. So it's going to be Q squared over E. And, but the E is, is this E, right? Because it's the electric field due to this plate. If I I can't have the total electric field. I can't have the electric field due to this plate and the force on that plate. So it's just going to be this electric field, 2A epsilon naught. Q squared over 2A epsilon naught. That's the force. Now let's suppose that I take that plate and I pull it back at a constant speed, a distance delta S. So I pull it over here. It's a very tiny distance. So I'm going from here to there. Well, what force would that require? I'd have to pull on that with F equals Q squared over 2A epsilon naught. That's how hard I'd have to pull it. If I pull it with a force F over some displacement delta S, then I have work as F delta S. There would be work done. Uh, and I can write that work as this. So let's start a new piece of paper because I'm running out of room here. So I'm going to say the work is F delta S, which is going to be Q squared over 2A epsilon naught delta S. That's the work done. And that's going to go into the change in electric potential energy. So how much electric potential energy is stored in the volume, right? Because the volume also changed. So here I have an area A, and I'm compressing, I'm pulling it a distance delta S to right here. So this volume is going to be equal to A delta S. So let's calculate the poten change in potential energy per change in volume. And we'll call that the energy density, mu, delta U delta S. So that's going to be equal to Q, I mean delta V. Q squared over 2A epsilon naught, and then I have A delta S. And there was a delta S up there. Why did that drop? Oh, that's right there. So that cancels. And I can write this as mu equals uh, 1 half Q squared over A epsilon naught. Now I'm going to multiply that by A over A. You can do that. And I'm going to multiply that by, uh, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I'm going to multiply that by epsilon squared. Is that right? No. Epsilon. Well, if I multiply that by A over A, I get 1 half Q squared over epsilon naught A squared. So let's multiply that by epsilon naught and divide by epsilon naught. That's right. And then this will be equal to 1 half epsilon naught Q squared over epsilon naught squared A squared. This is the electric field inside the parallel plate. Remember, E 
is Q over A epsilon naught. It's just the same thing squared. So now I can write this mu as one half epsilon naught E squared. And that is the energy density of the electric field. There's also an energy density for the magnetic field, but I'll do that later. And, and if you want to know how do you get this, I did a video on that in all its gory details. It was awesome. And I'll link that down below. The end.